Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to apologise for the wind and the rain outside. I am literally just sat in my car filming this video. I had every intention of filming it at home and my little boy is off sick and my mum has just nipped around for like an hour so I just thought I would come and do it in the car. Um, I've just grabbed myself a takeout cappuccino. I'm going to make this video as short and sweet as I can because I do like to waffle on a lot. But before I get into the video, I if you're new to my channel or you've been following me for a, a while, um, before I became like a motherhood channel, I actually was a fitness channel. Like I was very into the gym, very into fitness. I'm a personal trainer. I do, well, I used to do a lot of online coaching. I used to be sponsored by Grenade. Um, I've had like clothes sponsorships. Like, I was a very fitness-based profile. And then when I had kids and it was locked down, I just became this very, like, motherhood lifestyle-based channel and, like, Instagram page. But now that I'm not sharing the kids on social media as much as I was before, and I'm really getting back into fitness, I just thought, do you know what? I feel like this channel is going to go more back towards like health and fitness. Like I still will film a lot of things to do with motherhood and I'll always be honest about motherhood. I'll always talk about motherhood. But I do think that it's going to become quite fitness and health based because that really is who I was before I became a mum. And it's not my kids' channel, it's my channel. So I just thought I would talk about the five things that helped me refind myself um, postpartum after baby number two. I do think the more children you have, the harder it is to get yourself back to some sort of you before you had children. I didn't find it that difficult after I had my little boy, but after I had my little girl, she is 11 months old yesterday. I have found it very, very, very difficult to I just found it very hard um I didn't find the parenting hard like honestly I didn't find it that hard like I actually really enjoyed having two kids and it just gets easier every single day it was more me like I feel like I completely lost everything about myself and I just really struggled with that but 11 months down the line now and I do honestly feel so much better about myself and it's down to just a lot of things that I did. Like I really had to fight to do it and I really had to try and find the happiness. Like I think happiness doesn't come to you. You literally have to find it. And um, I tried a lot of things and I still do. And I, I keep fighting every day. And I think you have to put yourself first a lot. And a lot of people will be like, oh, that's really selfish. But it isn't because if you are run down, not yourself, feeling depressed, then that's gonna off lay onto your children and that is just not what you want. So yeah, number one obviously is the gym. Um, so we have a gym at home and I was going in there like when I could, I was getting on the exercise bike for like 20 minutes. I hate the exercise bike. I hate it with a passion and I just found it like really draining even though I was doing it because I knew that I wanted to lose weight I had a lot of weight to lose for me personally um, I'm not saying that I was overweight but for my personal self I probably was three stone up on what I usually am and I didn't want to be that anymore um, maybe two three stone so I was going on the exercise bike and I just did not like it and I was doing it because I knew I had to but it was literally draining my soul like I was waiting until my little boy was in bed then I was trying to get this like 20 week old 15 week old baby down to sleep um, sometimes she didn't sleep sometimes it was 8 o'clock sometimes it was half 8 then I'd get on this exercise bike then my husband was like you know you need to keep up in it so 25 minutes 30 minutes and I knew that and I was like I literally cannot do this I decided to join a new gym. I'm literally sat right next to it, to be honest. I'm sat in the car park next to it. <laughs> and it is the best thing that I ever did. Even though I don't get there as often as I would like to some weeks, I just, it really has mentally helped me to just have a different place to go, leave the house, I can get on the treadmill, I can do weights. And I just was not motivated to train out of our gym at all. Last week, for example, I went to the gym maybe five times um i've not been since thursday 
and it is now Tuesday because I've been ill and this is the thing like some of these things they just crop up don't they like your kids are ill like I couldn't go yesterday because Casper was ill I couldn't go today because Casper is ill I mean I could have spent this time going to the gym but I'm not I wasn't saying to my mum can you come and watch Casper so I can go to the gym I'm gonna try and go tonight but again it depends what time the kids go to bed the gym for me is just it makes me feel good like obviously it helps me to lose weight which makes me feel good in return it's just like an hour to myself an hour out the house you know I have to put a gym outfit on I have to like I've said I don't have to look good but when I was at home I literally was just wearing the most random gym outfit in the entire world but and it was just it was honestly just not making me feel great whereas when I go to the gym I do actually like to put on like a put together gym outfit um, I invested in some new gym wear which made me feel good as well and yeah so I try to do two or three weight sessions a week I also train with a friend as well but she's been really busy so we've not trained that much together um, hopefully next week we can get back on track but I tried to do two or three weight slash cardio weight session uh, circuit weight sessions a week so that'll be like either a full body session a leg session an upper body session or just like um circuits but with weights so like squat press um plate floor to press you know dumbbell bent over rows dumbbell goblet squats things like that and then I tried to get there three times a week for cardio as well, so doing 30 minutes on the treadmill. Last Thursday, I actually trained at one o'clock doing weights, and then I went back at half seven and did half an hour on the treadmill. Um, and I felt really good that day, and I'm just really in that vibing of, like, the gym makes me feel good. And I do actually miss it, to be honest. So I'm really going to try my best to go tonight. But yeah, the gym for me has been life-changing. Joining a new gym has been life-changing. I know if you're watching this and you think, like, I'm never going to have time to go to the gym, like, you can find the time. And I know that they seem expensive. Like, my gym membership is £40 a month. And it does seem a lot, especially because, like, five years ago, gym memberships were, like, £20 a month. But it is just so worth it. Like, it, even if I go once a week, I think, yeah, that was technically £10 for that one session. But it just did make me feel really good. And I'm just, yeah, really into the gym. I'm hoping that I can film a few workouts, but I'm just really scared to do that. I used to do it all the time. I used to always film my workouts before I had kids. But... I don't know a new gym and a new environment and I'm just really not into that right now so the second thing that's helped me is just literally getting outside and walking walking with Indy in the carrier walking with her in the pram walking with both of them in the double pram on the days that I have them both um, on a weekend trying to get out for a walk just trying to be in the fresh air as much as possible this weather obviously doesn't help because it is so so windy today and raining i actually saw a bus about 10 minutes ago and part of the bus had flown off into the middle of the road and the bus driver was grabbing it out of the road that is how awful the weather is today um i won't be getting outside today which is a shame because i've got him casper at home all day and he is going to be hard work by like one two o'clock but it is what it is um but yeah just getting outside as much as possible as soon as i see no rain and sun i'm like right i need to get outside because i could have a week of rain and i'm not going to get out and that is like my motivation to get out i'm like right it's sunny or it's not raining let's get outside um i went on a 10 minute walk to the shop yesterday with casper we walked to the shop to get some bread it was like seven minutes there seven minutes back that was the only walking that i did all day and today i'm probably not going to get any done but yeah getting outside getting in the fresh air i do it alone as well um again if like the kids are at nursery and I just fancy going on a walk, I'll go on a walk. If Josh has the kids on a Saturday morning, sometimes I'll just go walking Wednesday morning or like a Sunday, um, or if we'd, obviously we'll do it as a family. But it's also free, it is good for you, like the endorphins and just being outside is so good for us. Like we actually are animals at heart and being outside is just it's just really what we need to be doing and we don't we don't we're not meant to be stuck inside um but yeah obviously they're both exercising but they have really helped me to find myself again the next one would be having the counseling session that i had um if you are a regular to my videos you will know that i had a counseling session i've not spoken much about it because it's hard to explain but it wasn't like a counseling session where you sit down and you're like how are you today what do you think we could improve like 
I mean, I've never had a counselling session like that. I don't actually know what they would ask you, but you know, like we didn't delve really deep into like my feelings or anything like that. It was basically called a healing session. Um, so this lady thought that I was suffering from PTSD from my births and all my symptoms were like PTSD. Like I had really bad ADHD symptoms. I was a bit depressive. I was just really like, had no, I had the motivation because I was still going to the gym and stuff, but I just had like my brain just wasn't so unset. Like I can't even explain it. Um, and I didn't know whether I had postnatal depression, but after speaking to this lady, like she's a professional in mental health and maternal health, and she said, I think you're suffering from PTSD from your births, like as a collective, both of the births together. Um, never really thought about it but then I was like actually it does make sense because they've never been great um, and so we had this healing session and I basically had to find the start point of my labour with Inde which was pretty much getting to the hospital and being stood in like the antenatal well whatever the, yeah I think it's antenatal ward because I was having my pre-op assessment and I was like holy shit I actually think I'm going to have a baby today and then the end point for me was getting home because when I had Inde, like, yeah, it was a relief that I'd had her after that horrific birth. But then the night I had to stay over in the hospital, a baby was in the ward next to me and he cried all night while his mum just ignored him. And I never really thought about this before, but that was awful. Like, it honestly was like, I cannot physically listen to this any longer. Like I told a midwife and a midwife was like, well, we can't really do anything. And I, it was honestly horrific. And then when she woke up in the morning, like she was really awful to this baby. Like just like, oh, for God's sake, I'll go get you some milk then. She like walked off, went and got some formula from the ladies. She fed him while he was laid down in his cot. Like this baby was a day two days old she didn't even pick him out to hold him she literally just shoved the bottle in his mouth while he was laid down and it was just really horrifying and i was just thinking i've just had this beautiful new baby i can hardly even move like i, I physically couldn't get her out because my piles were so bad that i couldn't sit on my bum obviously i'd had an episiotomy i couldn't really move and i just felt awful that i couldn't help my baby and she could but she wasn't doing it and it was just so awful and I never thought about that moment until I went and saw this counselling lady and I was like oh my god like and she said to me that must have been really traumatising I was like do you know what actually it really was traumatising like that as a whole was part of my birth because it was straight after giving birth and she said that she was like it's not just the giving the birth that can cause things like PTSD is the aftercare or the afterwards of it like whatever happened in the 24 40 hours following um anyway so we had to have a start point and an end point then we went into this full blown like um meditation relaxation zone and I had to play from the start to the end back and forward back and forward back and forward a million times while she was just talking to me and it was basically to like move that trauma from one part of my brain to the other um, because your brain stores trauma in your brain in a part of your brain so that your body stops thinking about it but then when something is stored in that part of the brain you have other symptoms like ADHD symptoms anger um, like depression things like that um, so yeah that that has massively helped like i have noticed such a difference in myself since just that one set. yeah i was gonna have another session and i did message her but it was private it was expensive it was over a hundred pounds and i have just noticed a massive difference in myself i'm not half as angry with the kids anymore i have a lot more patience don't get me wrong like i have those moments when i'm on my period or whatever where i'm just like it really builds up but three weeks out of the month i am pretty calm and so much calmer than i was before and yeah i've just noticed a massive difference i'm a lot more like my brain is a lot more motivated the house isn't as cluttered 
like my to-do lists are getting done I'm doing things in line and I'm just utilizing my time so much better like I was not utilizing my time well at all and I don't think you do after you've had a baby because your brain's just everywhere but my brain was like scrambled egg honestly it was really really bad um so yeah that has massively helped I will link the website in the description box below and I will also link the lady who did mine because she is but she's obviously based in Huddersfield. Um, but I would definitely recommend it. And if you think you have some sort of birth trauma, I would recommend looking into it because it's not always postnatal depression. Like, I was happy leaving the house. I was happy getting myself ready. I was happy putting makeup on. I never thought depressive thoughts about the future. I was just depressed in myself, like in the moment. I can't even explain it, but I just feel so much better for having that like healing counseling session. The fourth thing I would say is um, getting a new job. I know that's only been four or five weeks, but again, that in hand with the counselling session, I think has made a massive difference to my mental health and just getting out of the house, having more of a purpose other than looking after children and just trying to be self-employed and trying to do things like this. Um, and you know, like, I don't see all the rewards all the time with things like this you know I'm not earning thousands of pounds a month I just really enjoy doing it and I'm not doing as much online coaching as I used to because honestly I just find it really difficult with having children and also I just find that the, the clients that I attract find it really difficult as well to do online coaching because they've got children and then you know it then guts me that they've quit and I'm like oh my god I'm just not good at this but it's not that it's just because I've not found the right client um but before like when I was doing my wedding prep like when I was prepping for my own wedding I had amazing online clients because people were doing the same and they were just really determined and people didn't have children and they didn't have anything stopping them but I think a lot of people just think they can take they can sign up to something and they're like oh it's a magic pill I'm gonna be cured in a week like I'm gonna lose three stone in a week and it's not like that and you really have to fight to put the work in and some people just quit so easily but then it disheartens me because I'm like oh is it something I've done but I know it's not it's just them but I find it really hard to like get myself out of that um so yeah I'm not doing as much online coaching really my main source of income is like Instagram posts and YouTube but it's not like life-changing money and even though Josh does, you know, Josh is really successful, he does really well, I could afford not to work at all, but I don't want to do that, like, I've never done that, I've always had my own money, before I had kids, I used to earn well, and this is not a bragging thing, like, I genuinely just did really well for myself, and I never worried about money, I could save money, but since having kids, like, I do worry about money a lot, and even though deep down I, I know I don't have to because we have money as a whole, like I personally don't feel like I have that much money. I'm always like, oh, I need to ask Josh for 20 quid or, you know, if I want to get the kids new clothes, I'm gonna have to sell all this on Vinted. Even though Josh would give me money for the kids clothes, but I just don't like asking. Like I do not feel like I want to ask for that money. Um, don't get me wrong, like when an Instagram payment comes in, like I'm like, oh, it's not very consistent, that's the word. It's not very consistent. And, you know, jobs pay you really late. Like, the I did a campaign in, I think it was March or April. I've only just been paid for it and it's September. Um, so yeah, they're not very consistent at paying. And even though it's a nice lump sum when you get it, because you've not maybe had the money the month before, you're like using it to either put into savings or paying things off or, you know, just you're like, you've been waiting to buy something when this money comes in. So it's just gone like that. Um, but one, it's helping me um, feel like I have more money because obviously I'm getting paid to go to work and then the money from Instagram and YouTube and everything can become my savings which will make me feel so much better and it's just getting out of the house it's having more of a purpose it's been part of a lovely team you know when I've worked before I've always worked with people I've worked in a gym so I had lots of personal trainers around me to work with like we all had so much fun I've worked in a salon so I've worked with loads of girls and we all like went on Christmas nights out we went on weekends out like you know we all got our lunch together same at the gym like we'd go on walks together if we all had like free hour and 
obviously working from home like you just don't have that and I was just felt like I was sat on my own at home all the time staring at the four walls then I didn't have much motivation to do this because I was just sat in I've got more motivation to do YouTube and things now that I'm working and because I'm only doing like two days a week it's it's still allowing me to do all these things um but yeah if you're a stay-at-home mum or you're maybe self-employed and you're just feeling a bit lost or feeling a bit like I literally cannot be at home any longer then I do highly recommend just looking for a little part-time job um like I do think it's massively helped me and also it's really helped like my fashion and stuff as well because I'm not allowed to wear leggings to work and obviously I would never cut, turn up in a tracksuit so I've really had to like find my style again which is great like jeans t-shirts jeans jumpers trousers tops um and I just it, it's actually just really helped me um just kind of find my style again because working from home like look at me today I'm just in I don't know the tracksuit like this is literally all I wear um but yeah that is number four and the last thing the last thing is the treatment I've been having on my stomach so <clears throat> I have been having what do we call um I think it's called DFS treatment it's and it's loads of needles that go into your stomach I'm gonna tag loads of stuff on the screen anyway. It's basically like loads of needles that go into my stomach and it really helps with stretchy, um, like really overstretched skin and stretch mark. I luckily was gifted the first session. The second session I took the money out of my savings because like I just said to Josh, I was just like, do you know what? Like it's okay for you because you haven't carried the babies and you, your body hasn't changed like, you're still just doing what you do all the time. You're at the gym, you're running, you're doing this, you're doing that. But my body has massively changed since having kids. And it doesn't mean to say that I don't appreciate my body at all, but when you're used to being a certain shape and a certain size, like it is really hard to deal with. And my skin was so overstretched on my stomach that even though I was losing weight, my stomach was just getting wrinklier and wrinklier. I literally looked like I had an 80 year old woman's stomach. And I was thinking I've literally just turned 30 and my stomach looks like this. Like I cannot live with my stomach like this forever. Like I just can't do it. Anyway, this lovely girl reached out to me and I went for a free treatment. So it's called Dermaforce. I went for a free treatment and then I actually booked into have another treatment about three weeks ago. Um, so it's just loads of tiny needles with radio frequency that go into your stomach and it basically shocks the skin and scares the skin to integrate in more collagen. Um, I do need one more session but I think I'm going to have to wait till after Christmas now really um, because it is obviously a lot of money. and. I can see a massive difference already like my stretch marks are better my skin's tighter my skin was really really stretched from having babies like I carry babies so big the babies themselves aren't that big Casper was eight pound three Indy was seven pound thirteen but my body just carries massive I just literally am out here I can't even drive I get to the point where I can't drive my stomach is that big that I cannot drive because my my bump touches the wheel but if I move my chair back my feet don't touch the pedals like it is just scary because I'm like if I even had a little bump it would force fully into my stomach um, and from Indy my stomach was just so stretched my skin was so stretched and this treatment has massively boosted my confidence because I've been going to the gym and losing weight and then this treatment is helping to tighten my skin so before I had this treatment I was losing weight but my belly was actually looking worse like I would have I preferred my belly when I had more fat on it because my skin looked more plump but then as I was losing weight my skin was just going wrinkly and shriveled and honestly it was just awful for me I just really mentally struggled with it um so this was my stomach there before I had anything done to it this was in July, so I've lost a bit more weight since then as well. You can't really tell, and it is a lot worse than that sometimes. Like, I must have done something different for that treatment, for that photo. And then this was four weeks after my first treatment, and I've had um, more done since then as well. And, well, I've had another session since then, and I think... I need to take another picture in a few weeks because it takes up to 10 weeks for your stomach to do it. So I think my, 
in between treatments has been about 10 weeks and then um yeah i think i had 10 weeks in between each treatment and then another 10 weeks would take me to like christmas but i'm definitely not having that done at christmas i'm gonna have to wait till january but they say around three sessions um and yeah i can't tell you how much more confident i feel without clothes on since having that done um i don't think my stomach will ever be perfect anymore like you know i know some people who have babies and the stomach does not stretch at all and as soon as they've kind of lost weight and got themselves back they just look unreal again but i just i'm not that person unfortunately um, because i just stretch massively and i look like i've carried about 10 babies if you was to look at my skin <laughs> But yeah, that is just a little insight into how I found myself again, feeling better about myself. And I just want to say that you just, like I was said, saying before, you just really have to fight. You have to fight to find yourself again. It's not just going to come to you overnight. It's not just going to come to you at the click of the fingers. Like you have to fight for yourself. You have to find what it is that is going to make you feel better. You have to find what it is that is going to make you feel back to where you were before or similar to where you were before you're never going to be the same person you've got children now or a child but you can feel better than you feel now you just have to fight for it like you just cannot sit there and expect your life or your world or yourself to change if you don't do anything about it like you have to go out there and either exercise eat better drink water lo loads more water find time out like put your children in the nursery if you can and um, ask for more help you know have treatments done go out walking as much as you can if you can't go out walking or, well if you can't join a gym then go out running find running as your new hobby like everyone hates running at first but once you get into it and you get good at it then you like running like it's just you just have to fight and find something that is going to work for you and is going to make you feel better about yourself and just sitting around and feeling sorry for yourself and stuff is just not going to help and then even if it's like your mental health if you've watched this and thought you know what i need help with my mental health go to the nhs like you are under the nhs's care after you've had a baby i think it's for like 11 years so go to the doctors and say i need help with my mental health my maternal health after i've had a baby i went private just because i was in the position to go private but if you're not in the position to go private then go and get on at the NHS, go to the doctors and go and ask for a counselling session. Get yourself on a list and go and see somebody. Or watch some YouTube videos of people like meditating. Get into meditation, get into yoga, YouTube yoga videos, YouTube Pilates videos. Like there is just something for you to do. Find your purpose. Just find it. And there is going to be a lot more videos like this for me because I just feel like postpartum is something that I am just really, really passionate about.